Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy Fats, and I'm coming at you with another video. I remember one time, me and my boy PJ, we had to do the dash up out the weight pit because it went down up in there. So we had to use our head and get up out the situation. You know, PJ was my boy at that time because me and him was sellers and things like that. We worked together. You know what I'm saying? He was a little light skinned dude with long hair, a bunch of tattoos and things like that. Thought he was a little player and things. But, you know what I'm saying, he had a little game and things like that. But, yeah, me and him, you know what I'm saying, we worked in the kitchen together. So, one morning, we get up, you know what I'm saying, go to work, you know, in the kitchen. I worked on the line. He worked in the tray room. We come out, you know, do our little breakfast thing because they feed us before we start working and things like that. We eat some peanut butter. You know, because it really wasn't nothing good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, at the time, probably was mixing the peanut butter with some oatmeal and things like that. But he was like, hey, fast man, you know what I'm saying? You want to start working out and get on a little workout, a little program? I was like, yeah, man, I can put something together, you know what I'm saying? We can put something together, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I can do something like that, help you out, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you know what I'm saying? Me going there, helping them lift up the weights and things like that because it really I didn't want to do no workout. But yeah, I volunteered to work out with them and things like that. So he was like, all right. So we go back at 12 o'clock. We get off work. Boom, we go back. We lay down and things like that. And while I'm laying down, he down there making a little workout schedule for us. You know, how we're going to be doing things, you know what I'm saying? When we go to the yard and things like that. So boom, child talk, I'm done, child, child, child. So everybody, you know what I'm saying, go to child. When we go to child, we eat, you know what I'm saying? Then we go to the yard. So when we get to the yard, the yard, you know what I'm saying, all the, everything is packed, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, when you get to the penitentiary, you, you know what I'm saying, you never know what can happen or whatever, or what the environment is. So like I said, when I got there, I never even paid attention to how the weight pit was because I wasn't on the weight pit time. So, boom, I always just walked the track. But when I got there, I seen that it was everybody in there, the blacks, the whites, the Mexicans, the Indians. I mean, all type of different type of cultures in there. And everybody was like linked up, you know what I'm saying, working out together. So everybody was like on type of some type of routine because when we come in there with our little list of how we're going to do things, I asked this big white guy, hey, man, hey, can you think we use the bench? He was like, nah, you can't use the bench because, you know what I'm saying, we on a little schedule around here, you know, a little rotation. You'll mess up our little rotation. You can go down there to the universal machine if you want to, if you want to work out. So me and PJ, boom, went down to the universal machine to work out. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what he said. And then he came down there and talked to us. He was like, hey, if y'all really serious about, you know, wanting to work out and get on a little routine or whatever, <clears throat> sign up with Mr. Scott. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Scott, you know what I'm saying? Go get y'all on a routine or where y'all can, you know what I'm saying, rotate around and do y'all thing. I mean, dude was cool. You know what I'm saying? He went down there and talked to us and told us how to get on a schedule and things like that, what we had to do in order to, you know what I'm saying, get into the weightlifting program or however they want to call it, you know what I'm saying? So then, <clears throat> boom, 6 o'clock come. They got early check-in, you know what I'm saying? Like 6, 6.30, whatever it was, early check-in. That's when everybody leave. You know what I'm saying? They check in early or whatever. And that's when the uh, area and the weight area gets kind of low and ain't too many people out there working out. And then, you know what I'm saying? Me and PJ went over there. Now we can work out, you know what I'm saying? But we have to stay late till the yard closed. We can't leave early and things like that. Because plus, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we got to go to work anyway. So we don't want to be out there too motherfucking late. So we like, damn, yeah, we got to hurry up and get on this schedule. So, like I said, we working out, boom. The next day, we get back to our room, you know, do our thing, whatever. The next day, we come back to the yard, do our thing. We go straight to the universal machine because that's where the dude tell us to work. So, we working out. Now, this white guy come over, Mr. Scott, you know what I'm saying? He came over and asked us, you know what I'm saying, about basically how we wanted to do the schedule and how we wanted to do this and how we wanted to do that. So we like, all right, 
Yeah, we put our name down on the list of how we wanted. He said, yeah, I could start Monday. This was like probably Tuesday or Wednesday of, of that week. So we didn't, you know what I'm saying? We had to start a, you know what I'm saying, a workout thing on Monday. So we like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Monday, Monday it is, you know what I'm saying? We're going to start working out. So boom, 6 o'clock come, 6.30 or whatever. Come, we doing our thing. We go over to the thing we work and we like, shit, we're going to be on the schedule. So we looking at all the little things, testing out all the little weights and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, we just doing everything, you know what I'm saying, in one day versus doing everything. Like we were, instead of us working our arms one day and our legs one day, we working our whole damn body because we trying to fill out the machines and stuff like that. So when we get back, now we really sore, you know what I'm saying? Because shit, like I said, we work the motherfucking, our whole motherfucking body. So in the morning when we get up, we like, shit, damn, we get out of the bed. Like an old man, like I am right now. Boom, we get out of bed. Shit, sore as hell, because we don't work out, you know what I'm saying, our whole damn body. So then we get back to the yard. Boom, on this day, I think it's like Thursday or Friday, you know. So this day we come to the yard. Uh, we go to the Universal Machine because, like I said, that Friday, I mean, the Monday we're going to be starting, you know, on other workout schedule on whatever. Then, then however they move, you know what I'm saying, over there. I don't know how they move because I never came over there to see it again. But Monday we're going to see how everything moves. So, uh, with me and PJ, we're working out and stuff, doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm working out hard like I'm Dwayne Johnson and stuff like that. He working out like he, you know what I'm saying, the Hulk and stuff. So we working out hard, you know what I'm saying, doing sit-ups and all this stuff. I'm talking about we work on time. We pull a sweat. We working out. <sighs> so then when I uh, get up, you know what I'm saying, to go get some water, you know what I'm saying, because I got a, like a little cooler, you know what I'm saying, on the top the side of the building. You can go get some water. You know, I go get some water. Boom. You got to use your hands, basically, because they ain't got no cups unless you brought a cup out there. And that's what most of the people in the weight pit do. They bring, like, the, some little drinking utensils and all that stuff, you know, to make it kind of easier for them when they're working out to where they can keep themselves hydrated. But, I, like I said, I didn't know the rules of it the weightlifting thing. I just knew that you get out there and gotta lift some iron. That's all I knew. So I go get some water in my hand. When I come back, I see this white guy, you know what I'm saying? He walking up, you know what I'm saying? The thing, you know what I'm saying, back and forth. And he's walking, you know what I'm saying, like he's real aggressive. I mean, he be kind of big, you know what I'm saying, real cut up a little bit and things like that, you know? And he goes over to the white guy that I was talking to when I first got there on the way, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I was telling him, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was to ask him, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Could we use a bench? And he told me, you know what I'm saying, where to go. So I'm talking to him. So when I'm talking, when I'm looking to seeing them do them two talking, boom, they, they start talking. Now you can see them getting real hostile, you know what I'm saying, with each other, like, like it's about to go down over there. So I look at PJ, I'm like, hey, PJ, you know what I'm saying, you see that? You know what I'm saying, you see what they're doing? And he's like, nah. So he look over there, now you see what they're doing. He's like, yeah, man. He's like, what you think they're about to do? I was like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying, I hope it don't go, you know what I'm saying, no, no crazy shit go on over here. You know, I'm just saying that because the environment that we in, you never know what could happen. You know, you can see somebody else get into it, and it could be you. So I'm like, just peeping out the, you know what I'm saying, the scenery or whatever. So then I see them, you know what I'm saying, start getting down. And that dude, I heard the big dude, you know what I'm saying, tell the other dude, hey, you ain't going to keep disrespecting me. I heard him say that real loud, and dude's like, man, fuck you, man, you know what I'm saying? He was like, you know what I'm saying? We y'all know we supposed to have this and you know what I'm saying, y'all trying to, you know what I'm saying, take it, you know what I'm saying? Basically he telling him, hey, you know, y'all know y'all supposed we they supposed to have the bench and the other guys, so you know what I'm saying, supposed to be somewhere else. And dude's like, I'm taking the bench after y'all finish. And uh he's like, nah, you ain't gonna be doing nothing like that. The person that's 
You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, they got a little rotation going on. I'm hearing them tell them, hey man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the way that, you know what I'm saying, the rotation is, you know what I'm saying, they got it next, you know what I'm saying? You got to wait and do whatever you do. It's like, nah, man, I ain't doing that shit. So they got to go on all back, back and forth, you know what I'm saying, arguing with each other. So then all of a sudden, the other guy, you know what I'm saying, not the big guy, but the kind of chunky guy, you know what I'm saying, that was real cut up real good, pushed the old boy, boom. And when he pushed the big guy, the big guy, you know what I'm saying, fell over the bench. Because, like I said, they was bench pressing. He fell over the bench, boom. And when he fell over the bench, boom, I guess he came back. You can tell he hit his head, boom. And when he hit his head, I don't know what he hit his head on, but it was something over there. He hit his head on that, boom. And when he came up, you know what I'm saying, he was bleeding and stuff on the back of his head and things like that. You can tell because the way that he was grabbing his head, he was holding his head and he was pulling his head. He had blood in his head. I don't know if it was a big cut or a little cut or whatever. But then he rushed the old boy, boom. And when he rushed the old boy, old boy fell back. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. And it was just black guys, you know what I'm saying? They were lifting weights too. They was kind of big too. He kind of, you know what I'm saying, bumped them and they pushed him. Like, And then when he pushed him, he pushed him into where... He hugged the big guy, you know what I'm saying, that was bleeding and stuff like that. So the big guy, you know what I'm saying, came up, you know what I'm saying, started swinging and stuff like that. But when he was swinging, you, he wasn't swinging because the old boy, you know what I'm saying, was kind of holding him. So he was basically, you know what I'm saying, holding him like that. And since he was so big, you know what I'm saying, he couldn't, you know what I'm saying, get him real good and stuff like that. So he was just swinging, you know what I'm saying, basically hitting dude in the back and stuff like that. So I'm looking at that stuff, and then he pushed him back, you know what I'm saying, when they kind of released each other from each other, you know what I'm saying, the other guy that was kind of skinny or whatever, he started running running back. And when he started running back, you know what I'm saying, they had like a 10-pound weight on the thing that you, that you slide onto the thing. So, oh boy, you know what I'm saying, grabbed that off the floor, and he threw that sucker, boom. And when he threw it, he hit old boy in the back real hard. Boom. Boom. And when he hit old boy in the back, old boy, you know what I'm saying, started, you know what I'm saying, kind of moving forward and stuff like that. Like I said, we at the end of the uh at the end of the uh weight pit, and then there's the universal machine. And I'm on the thing doing some sit-ups, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at all this PJ on the other side doing the things that going down like this. So we looking at each other and this dude, so then this dude, he running, and when he run, he comes straight to the universal machine. Boom. Pow, plaster yourself up on it. And when he look at it, like I said, I'm on the thing like this, thing doing the sit-ups, I'm coming out of my feet kind of locked, so I'm not able to move fast, but I'm able to look at dude. So I'm like, damn, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at dude in his eyes, and you can see that he's in pain. Because he just got hit in the back, you know what I'm saying, with that weight. And when I'm looking at that, so then I hurry up, you know what I'm saying, slide on down the thing, get up, take off. I'm telling PJ, come on, nigga, you know what I'm saying, get your motherfucking ass on, man. Let's get the fuck up out of here. So we hit the track. We walking around the track. And we walking around the track, we talking about, damn, man, that shit's kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying, what happened, you know what I'm saying, just now. I'm like, yeah, that is crazy and shit. I said, I won't be at the weight pit no more. I tell you that tomorrow. I'm done with that shit, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I don't want to have nothing to do with anything that's going on in the weight pit. That's when we heard the alarms and things going off and things like that. So then we walked around, you know what I'm saying, a couple more times, you know what I'm saying, looking at everything, the police over there with the nurses and things like that, you know. So we was like, dang, man, it must have been bad, you know what I'm saying? We didn't really actually know what happened or anything like that. Like I said, when dude came up on that universal machine, shit, I didn't know what he was going through. All I knew was that he was in pain. I didn't know what type of pain that he was in. I just knew that he was in type some type of pain. But, yeah, that was crazy, though. But you got to make sure that when you go to the penitentiary that you don't put yourself in situations like that. And stay away from places like that, like the penitentiary, because you don't want to be in situations like I was in, 
you know, to where I'm seeing things like that. I mean, they changed it up now. This was like in 91 where they hit all the weights and things like that everywhere around and things like that. But now they got it to where everything is like basically welded on to where you can't move stuff around like that. But back then you could, you know, you can move this and you can move that, you know, you can you basically you get your real workout on, but now they got it to where you can't get your work on because of situations like this, to where when people, you know what I'm saying, was using that as a weapon on the yard versus uh, using it for the things that it was supposed to be used for. But yeah, that guy, you know what I'm saying, I don't know whatever happened to him or how, whatever his situation was or, or how to do, you know what I'm saying, with his head, you know what I'm saying, busted like that. But I'm pretty sure both of them, you know what I'm saying, got into it because both of them had wounds on them. So they kind of could put two and two together to make, you know what I'm saying, four because they know that these two people, the one that did it. So if they both hurt, something happened, you know what I'm saying, how both people are hurt in that situation. So like I said, you just have to be real mindful of things like that and make sure that you keep your ass up out the penitentiary because you don't want to be put in situations to where you can, you know what I'm saying, basically, you know what I'm saying, end up losing your life over something that you wasn't supposed to be because you were at the wrong place at the wrong time. And most people, you know what I'm saying, that's what it is. You're always in the wrong place at the wrong time versus, you know what I'm saying, being in the right place at the right time. You know what I'm saying, we always find ourselves in situations like that to where we always have to end up, you know what I'm saying, justifying what we're doing versus realizing what we're doing. Most people don't really understand, you know, how easy it is for a person to get caught up and how easy it is for a person to end up in a penitentiary until you're actually there. And then you'll finally realize, hey, man, I'm in the penitentiary because I did this and I did that. But in reality, you know what I'm saying, shit, you could have just easily... You know what I'm saying? Put yourself in a situation to where you didn't have to, you know, go through none of that stuff. Maybe go to school. Maybe, you know what I'm saying, find some type of trade or something like that. If you didn't want to go to actually college, you can find a trade and things like that. Get your CDL license and things. You know, there's a lot of other things that a person can do besides crime to make money. I mean, you know what I'm saying, clothing brand, you know what I'm saying, things like that. You just have to build whatever you're trying to do. You know, I'm trying to build my status to what I'm trying to do <clears throat> by being consistent with certain things. But, yeah, you know, you just always have to make sure that you stay up on everything. This your boy Fats and them staying 100, you know what I'm saying, all the time. And y'all stay 100 as well. And peace out. Like and subscribe and stay up.